Hi, this is Terence Wu, Applications Engineer with Hawkridge Systems, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly convert a downloaded part to an assembly and make it move. Often, we want to incorporate movable components in our designs, things like hinges, linear slides, shock absorbers, joints, etc. And unless these components are going to be made in-house, we of course want to go and download a model, whether it's from 3D Content Central or directly from the vendor's website. Now sometimes we're lucky and we get an assembly file, but it's pretty common to end up with a part file, either a SOLIDWORKS file or some other format, and the problem is part files don't capture motion. So if that movement's important to us, what we need to do is create an assembly. Step one is to make sure that you have a multi-body part, and often this is how downloaded files will be provided. But sometimes we're given one solid lump of material, and if that's the case, we need to go through our cells and break it up into separate pieces. The tool I'd like to use for this is the split command. I'll create a quick sketch on the end to define the pin of this hinge. And then I'll grab my split tool, which you'll find under Insert Features. Depending on your system options, you may be prompted to select a couple of templates here. After you click through those pop-ups, you'll want to come over to the Property Manager and hit Cut Part. The Split tool is going to take my sketch and use it to break up the part into separate pieces. I can choose which bodies to keep, in this case both, and when I hit the green check, you can see I now have two separate bodies where I only had one before. I'll hide the pin for a moment and go repeat the process one more time to separate the leaves. I'll create a sketch on the bottom, and this time I'll use the Convert Entities tool to give me a hand. Once I've done my sketch, I'll go grab the Split tool again. And same as last time, hit Cut Part, and choose to keep both bodies. So now I have three separate solid bodies. I'm just going to hide these two sketches and take this opportunity to give my bodies more meaningful names. I've got my pin, leaf one, and leaf two. We're now ready to move on to step two, and create an assembly. I'll right click on the solid bodies folder and come down to save bodies. This is going to launch a tool that looks very similar to the split command. I can choose to save my three solid bodies out to separate part files and if I come down a bit further I can get it to automatically create an assembly for me at the same time. I just need to hit browse and give my assembly a name. When I hit OK it's going to create these four new files for me. Now the parts in the assembly file are located in the same position as the bodies in the original file and are fixed by default. Since motion's the goal, step three is to unfix components and add mates. I'll choose to float leaf two. and quickly attach it to the pin. One last detail, we probably don't want our pin and leaves to be listed individually when we go create a bill of materials, so I'll select the three parts, and in their properties, set them to be excluded from the bill of materials. And there we go. We have a moving hinge that we can use as a sub-assembly in our designs. To recap, we use the split tool to create a multi-body. We use save bodies to generate individual parts and an assembly. And then we added mates to define the motion. If you found this useful or have any questions, please leave a comment and let us know. And be sure to subscribe to our channel for more useful tips and tricks. Thanks for watching.